Before we went on that break, we were talking about um, Dr. Wankama's opinion shared on social media based on her experience in practice and how patients would hide their medical history. And we've even seen the one of travel history based on it is not my portion. Mm. I think it's just, I, I, to be honest with you, I just think the person is an inherent liar. That's just what it is. It's not about not being their portion. They just want to be... They just, they just want so. to deceive people. Yeah, other I, I, doctors there came is, on that post and they shared this. No, same the reason experience. why I say that they're lying is because they don't implement that in everything else. When they are begging mm. people for money, they don't say, Blood of Jesus, I'm, I'm rich and I'm not going to beg people for to, money. Uh, they uh, don't uh, say, I'm they, broke. They, they say, Auntie, I'm rich, I beg. But they should tell <laughs> you that they need they're money. The most, they're the most beggars on social if, media. You can't man. pick and choose mm. where you want. And, and I feel like they have bad intentions. Like, they either want to be able to spread that virus yeah. or it's not it's not, it's not not coming from a place of. It's This is what I I, I, I call a good example of false humility like i'm so humble but really false you are food. very arrogant and you have bad intentions because the lady that gave that spread coronavirus around in ocean state or go state or wherever that they had her kids had symptoms and they came and she said no i didn't travel anywhere like that's not faith that's just being mad deceitful so for me i don't i don't even see it as a religious thing and i can bet you those people that are doing that don't even go to church they just want to they lie do, actually <laughs> <laughs> benny you know, it's it's not even about COVID nineteen. It, it goes it goes as far as things like you know your your blood group, your, yeah. your genotype. I mean, I people. just had to relate the COVID nineteen case yeah, to, to it. it. She, she, know, she wasn't talking about COVID nineteen at all. She was talking you know, about course, what she has experienced. Yeah. and so I, I don't know. In the life of me, I don't know why anybody want, want to lie about their medical history because it's it's help you're trying to get for yourself. So help can come to you. And so if people can lie as much as think about their blood type and their genotype. It just makes me ask, um, where were you raised? It's what, just what, not their portion. You know. I don't even but understand what is. that means, but it, it is. is your if, you know, if you're if you're SS, <laughs> it's you're what SS. It is. If you're if you're AS, you're AS. I mean, I you know understand that for like um, like strangers, or if you're meeting someone for the first time, or something like that. You're not going to say hi. My name is if no, I'm but, AS but or for, something. For, for your, but for your doctor, someone like, who's supposed what's to what's the help point you? of them I'm, going? I also to, don't understand it, especially if the person you're meeting is a potential person that you're going to get day, married. Relax on the it's not your first day, I know, but people lie about these things. That's what I'm saying. So the lie thing now, like you said, I think it's an inherent thing. It's not just happening when you're talking to your doctor yeah. but i'm saying your medical history is not something you should lie about yeah especially when you're having a conversation with someone who can be affected yeah. by your lies you so, can also say that they're, they're they're kind of transferring their their idiocracy so you because you are uneducated you think that your doctor is also not un uneducated, uneducated, uneducated because you know. if you knew how science works you know that there's really no point lying you're just stalling the inevitable so it's also a lack of knowledge i'll be very disappointed if educated people are also on this table like, it, will, you know, it, will actually, it will amaze they you are, I mean, they are lying they are, down on the I mean, table they are, they are <laughs> largely, shaking the table they're largely on this table you know again it stems from a place of dishonesty falsehood and largely again illiteracy and religion mm. you know because i don't get it you're sick somebody somebody's sick and it's telling you um God forbid, I think we I should stop not... blaming religion. We... Let's just put this in on no. mental health. Because I'm a Christian. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, but, but, wow. Yes. But, they have um, mental health um, issues. Um, uh, a lot of... <laughs> this is, <it's, laughs> I don't want to say... It's a question of faith. You no, know, it's not. That's not faith. So I think they have, see yeah. that as faith. People have, yeah. any, if, I com, if I confess negative, if I say how I'm feeling, then I'm, I'm probably destroying my faith. Maybe I'm yeah. hungry is I'm hungry. No, no, I'm when it comes to hunger, no, 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 when money. it comes to hunger, they don't tell you, no, I'm not hungry. <laughs> <laughs> God forbid, I'm not. But all these fake things, all of us about people choosing now. Okay.